Hello, all my wonderful YouTube channel subscribers. Uh, hopefully you guys have less ads and stuff popping up on you. I, I uh, discontinued the monetization of my channel, so hopefully the things will flow smoothly for you guys. Um, now, uh, Ellensburg Amplifier is closed, guys. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to... I, I got to say this. I'm going to have to say it over and over again because I continue to get phone calls every single day. Um, every day. Uh, yeah. I'm closed. I am not doing any repairs. If I do anything on an amp, it is uh, on my own times, my own terms. Um, I do not do this as a business. I am back to work as an electrician in the state of Washington. So I, uh, I have got more important things I got to deal with. So, uh, I closed the business. It's been closed as of, uh, realistically January 1st of 2025. So it's been what, huh, nine months, 10 months, and I'm still getting phone calls and I'm still getting amps in the mail. Yeah, amps. Look, check this out. There it is. I covered up the guy's address. This is an amplifier. Uh, yeah, it's a tar amps. Um, <laughs> see, that's what happens. Things just continue to come in, you guys, or whoever. I don't know what, what's going on, but yeah, I am not open for business. But this is an ICBM uh, 771 uh, that's in from a very, very good person. Uh, this is Nolan's amp. Uh, uh, I'm, just, I'm just fixing it up for him. Um, and um, I just really wanted to just point over this amp real quick. Uh, I did change the uh, 12 volt filter capacitors here. Uh, they they had the 16 volt 2200 microfarad capacitors, and as you can see, oh well, looky looky, there are little bowls at the top there. Yeah, it probably uh, had one that was dried, faulty, what maybe short, who knows? Um, but what I did is I put 25 volt 3300 microfarad capacitors in, so. A little bit more uh, capacitance for filtering. Uh, yeah. And I replaced a resistor here that I do believe if I trace the circuit right, it does feed power um, over to the uh, 494 here. So I just wanted to go over real quick. This is a typical standard class AB amplifier. Super easy. Preamp. This is preamp, guys, as I focus in and out. Uh, oh, man, I'm sorry. Um, yep, you got your preamp here. You got your auxiliary power here. This is going to be your plus minus for your preamp. You have your mute circuit here. And, you know, as, as people, here, let me make some more room here, uh, go around and repair these things, you start to recognize these components. Uh, just because these have been laid out and designed the same for uh, longer than a lot of, probably a lot of my subscribers age. <laughs> uh, Class AB has been a standard design for years and years. But uh, muting circuit here, auxiliary power, plus minus, uh, nine times out of ten you're going to find a couple electrolytic capacitors here that... Um, come from your preamp, your signal, uh, you have uh, your first, I call, this is what I call it, guys. I don't know the technical terms. I call it what I call it because that's what I do. First stage, second stage, third stage, uh, output transistors. And then you have your, uh, I've even had questions like, well, how do you find the overcurrent protection circuit, you know, in a class AB? It's really easy. You have an emitter. Uh, nine times out of ten, they're going to pull a trace off that emitter, and you're going to find a transistor-diode combination. And it's kind of hidden behind this capacitor right here. Let me see if I can get around. But this transistor right here, if you were to follow this transistor, the trace path, you're going to find one going right back to the emitter of the output. You're going to have one here. 
And you've got one, where are you hiding? Right here. This is going to be your overcurrent protection. Your overcurrent protection, and this is a, even the same unlike the Orions, the HCCAs. You're going to find your overcurrent protection coming off your emitters of each channel. Um, and it goes through this jumper here, goes up and over and around, and it ends up down over here through a resistor. So follow the traces. Super easy. Uh, traces tell you pretty much everything what's going on. A uh, typical switch mode power supply, I've gone over this a hundred times, 494, uh, you have a couple sets of transist here, transistors driving the primary side of that transformer. Uh, these are the uh, 50 and 06s, kind of an older transistor. Um, you can change this, that's the driver for it. And that's the driver for it. I mean, depending on the driver topology, you can change these if you uh, do some minor adjustments on your pull downs and gate resistor values. Uh, but I don't do that anymore. I just don't have time for that. Um, yeah, that was just a quick rundown of this amplifier, switch mode power supply, rail capacitors, rectifiers, overcurrent protection, that transistor there. You'll find the trace from there. Um, if I remember right, it goes through a diode and you're going to find it going back to your uh, protection circuits of your 494. Emitter resistors, your amplification stages here. Um, you can follow the path of your sine wave, goes through, goes through each half. Here's your uh, NPN and PNP transistors there. So, and again, the preamp. This is where a lot of people get confused in the preamp. Preamps can get uh, complicated because they manage the signal in so many different ways through uh, just a couple ICs here, some feedback loops and whatnot. So preamps are probably the most confusing thing when it comes to repair or modification for most people. Um, but as long as you understand the concepts, you have... A given input signal, a preamp, all nulled uh, potentiometers, you should see your sine wave over here at the input of your amplification stage, as long as your muting circuit is allowing it to pass. Uh, nine times out of ten, also, these uh, are dependent on uh, a capacitive circuit that'll uh, release these things, release the signal, I should say, for the signal to pass. So, that's just a Again, a rough breakdown of a class AB amplifier. Oh, this by your protection right here. I have not reverse engineered this enough to really dig into that. Uh, oh, no, that's going to be your correction. That's by error correction. Your input signal probably goes to that. Uh, as I digress, um, I just am pointing out the basics of the amplifier for you. So... Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free. Leave them down below. I mean, I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. I'm just not repairing amplifiers as a business. Um, I am getting questions still um, from other people that are repairing amps for information about uh, things like tar amps boards and stuff. Um, also, guys, keep in mind, a lot of my business information is gone uh, it's packed up in a way, so I don't have the breakdowns of like your uh, H1 transistors, what they are, what they are, or like your Stetson uh, OEM marked transistors. I don't have that information. Uh, I don't have that stuff memorized. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, but I will answer what I can for you guys. Um, and I think for everyone's continued support, always telling me that I'm the best and I'm the only person they can trust. I'm sorry that I had to leave the repair industry. Um, I may be back in the future, but as of right now, uh, nope, I'm going to be taking care of other things in life that are uh, a little bit more important. So uh, thank you guys. And we will catch you on the next one.